Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Side by Side, where we go to restaurants in the same vicinity that serve the same food, and we let you know which one reigns supreme. Today it's the California edition, and what we're doing is we're settling the debate between fast food burger chains. That's right, a New York City staple, Shake Shack, versus the California King in and out Burger. Now, where New York City is kind enough to grace both coasts with our delicious burgers, in and out the reason that we can't do it on the, on the East Coast is because in and out is specifically a West Coast burger chain. And so many people, what they do is when they land in Los Angeles, the first place they go to is in and out Now, Shake Shack has a tremendous history in itself as well. It started out in 2001 as a hot dog stand in Madison Square Park. And in 2004, they actually got the rights to open up a permanent kiosk. Even though it started off as a hot dog stand, in 2004, they actually expanded their menu to fries, burgers, and also their namesake, Shakes. Let's go inside, check it out, see what they're all about. First impression, I have to say, the LA experience here at Shake Shack beats out the New York City experience. The reason for that is you look around, they're gonna have cornhole outside. They have the foosball tables. Uh, they just have a bunch of activities that you can do while you're in Shake Shack, where when you go into New York City, uh, it's pretty high stress. Sometimes you walk into a location in Manhattan and there's not a lot of seating. It's almost like a grab and go. This feels more like that restaurant environment. And truth be told, Shake Shack's one of my favorite places to go to in New York City. The reason I don't hit it up as much as I can is because doesn't really have that fast food price. This right here, simple burger, two patties, lettuce, tomato, the shake sauce. It's gonna cost you $10 and change. And that's just by the burger itself. Didn't get a drink, didn't get a fries. So really, when comparing apples to apples with the Double Double versus the Shake Shack burger, the Double Double, you're gonna get more bang for your buck with regards to pricing because it's not $10. As a matter of fact, I could get a double cheeseburger, a shake and fries and be under that $10 threshold at In-N-Out. But it's really about the flavor, and I have to say this, I haven't been into this, but the Shake Shack Burger is one of my favorite burgers in New York City. It does have that restaurant that restaurant flavor to it. You could tell, I mean, this wasn't fast. It took some time for them to be in the back cooking up this delicious smash burger. You just don't pay for that restaurant environment in New York City. I said it, it's a grab and go. It's not a pleasant environment. It could be better. If I lived in Los Angeles, I would come to Shake Shack more often because I could sit down, I can enjoy myself, and I could actually feel like I'm paying for that zen, if you will, when I could sit down, eat, and enjoy my food, whereas opposed to New York, I'm stressing out about finding a place to eat. I'm eating it on the go. So it's a much different environment here. Now, let's dig into this double cheeseburger. And the reason that we just kept it so simple with the double cheeseburger is because we're going with the double double when we do go to In-N-Out. I gotta say this, the aroma, just holding this burger in front of me before I'm even gonna take a bite of it, that meat is making my mouth water. I love seeing the crispy edges, which you love seeing in a good quality smash burger. I know it's going to be crispy on the outside. Let's hope that it's tender and juicy once I get there. But the quality of the ingredients here too, top notch. You could look and you could see that this cheese looks beautifully melted on the patty. Just the, the veggies look fresh and that bun, it's just gleaming. The, the buttery top is just gleaming off the light. So it definitely, it's going to be a good one. And I haven't even taken a bite yet. So here we go. Cheers. Mm. We live in Los Angeles. If we became a piece of LA, I'd be coming here more often on work days, for lunch, whatever it is, just because the quality of that juicy, delicious patty. There was no shortage of flavor throughout that. It was succulent. had a, had a nice saltiness to it as well. And just overall, the, the sweetness of the tomato, to contrast the saltiness and then just th that gooey delicious cheese oh man love the crispy outer edges of this burger just the difference in textures right the crispy outer edge of the of the patty and then also it's just the tenderness of the of the middle of the patty just so good overall i mean it's it's just a top notch, top quality, top quality burger patty that you have here. And then all the other ingredients are just phenomenal. The bread was great. There was no part of this burger that was making me think that I could go without this. All the flavors came together 
to, for one delicious, just one delicious experience, the way that a burger should taste. These guys set the standard. This does not taste like a fast food burger. That's probably why it's not fast food prices. Second stop, folks, in and out Started in 1948 in Baldwin Park by Harry and Esther Snyder. This has been a family business to this day, even be run by their only grandchild, Lindsay Snyder. Now, when they originally opened, they actually got up to 18 locations before Harry passed away in 1978. But less than 20 years later, the second generation of the family that actually took over in and out put it to 100 locations. Now, one of the things that we are going to notice is that the in and out menu, it's not going to be as expansive as Shake Shack. As a matter of fact, if we take a look inside, the environment doesn't also really look as welcoming, friendly. It's, it's kind of like a madhouse in there. The line for the for the drive through is super long. The line to the counter is going out the door, and I'm not even sure if there's going to be anywhere to really sit down once we go inside to, to try this. But this place has a tremendous reputation. I'm looking really forward to trying their burgers and also seeing which one's going to reign supreme in this episode of our Side by Side. We got a classic on the menu, the Double Double. Very simple, lettuce, tomato, two patties with cheese. Even though the menu is a little bit tighter here at In-N-Out, they do have a secret menu as well. By example, they sell three different milkshakes, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. They don't have a Neapolitan on the menu, but that's what the kid ordered today. It's based on very plain and basic. The kid loves a good Neapolitan shake. Oh yeah, tasty. All those amazing flavors. This double double costs $5.25. That's literally half the amount that the burger at Shake Shack costs. Now I know that they have a tremendous reputation here. I will say this. The aroma, it's good, it's solid. But the difference is when they brought me that burger over at Shake Shack, I could just smell the meat immediately. My mouth was watering. Don't really have that with here. The bun, it's not really gleaming like the other one was where it was a much more buttery bun. And the patties, I'm not impressed with the way that the patties look compared to the way that the Shake Shack burger looks. So presentation wise, Shake Shack does have the edge. We're not here for looks. We're here for flavor. So let's see what In-N-Out's got. So that patty has some tremendous flavor. I got to say this, though. This is a double-double. I felt like the other ingredients really dominated. There's a lot of lettuce on this. There's a lot of tomato. Where back at Shake Shack, the number one flavor was the patties. This is tasty. It's not as juicy, but it does have some juiciness to it. It doesn't have the crisp end that I do like because it's not really a smash burger. But the quality of the beef, it's some good quality beef. I will say this. I understand why people, when they when they land in Los Angeles and they say, I got it, I need to go to In-N-Out, I get it. This is good. For a double-double, though, I just wish that there was a little bit more meat uh, with with this burger. But I'm not disappointed, especially for $5.25. I mean, comparing this to other other fast food burgers, I can see why they're, why they're a fast food king when it does come to burgers. Another thing that I do have to say is... This is just the burgers, right? This is just uh, the standard burger. They also have something called animal style, where they're throwing on their secret sauce. They're throwing on their onions. It's fully loaded. People get animal style fries, animal style burgers. And that's really what people do love when they do come to In-N-Out. I didn't get that because I wanted to compare the two cheeseburgers to each other. The director got an animal style burger, and that's what we're going to try. We're not comparing apples to apples here. We're just going to try to see what this does taste like. One last side note, the director got some chopped chilies. So there's going to be a little bit of an extra kick with us come to scarfing down this bad boys. Cheers. It's messy. It's tasty. It's packed with flavor. I think when you do come here, this is the move. You got to get an animal style. I, I hate to be critical. I wish the patties were a little bit thicker. I wish I could get a little bit more, more meat with this patties. But this is, this is what they're known for. This is what you got to get. You land in L.A., you're looking for a good burger that you can't get anywhere else. I mean, when I was in line, I was talking to people from Tennessee, from Kentucky, and they were saying, this is our last place that we're going to before we head to the airport and head out. Hope they got the animal style, because when you come in and out, that's what you got to get. This is a damn good burger. Well, folks, that concludes our episode of Side by Side, and I think we know which one reigns supreme. When it comes to flavor, I hate to sound like I'm, I'm being a New York bias. I got to give the Shake Shack. The director herself said it that there was just so much more meat burger when you actually got that Shake Shack burger and it was fantastic. She did say what she did like about the In-N-Out burger, which 
I didn't really necessarily like was that she could taste all the other flavors of the ingredients. She could taste the lettuce. She could taste the pickle. She could taste uh, just everything that that animal style did have to offer, which I did love. But for me, when I'm getting a burger, I'm sorry. I just need a big, fat, thick, juicy patty that also has those nice burnt crunchy edges. And Shake Shack exactly had that. But hey, there is a difference, right, when it does come to pricing. If you're looking for a good quality value burger at with fast food prices that you know you can get in and out, as crazy as it was in there, those people were hustling. It made me feel like I was back in New York City because the line was huge, but they were just, they were literally in and out. They were just getting burgers in and out, and, and uh, you, you had your food. Another thing that, that Shake Shack did have on the edge was the variety in the menu. This shake is tremendous. They have a ton of seasonal shakes. They have a ton of uh, other seasonal menu items. They have chicken sandwiches. They have crinkle cut fries. They have cheese fries. They have beer. They have wine. That was another thing, too. It made me feel like I was at home. I could go there and I could order a Brooklyn Brewery beer and sit there like I'm back in New York City enjoying a fat, juicy burger with that Brooklyn, with that Brooklyn beer. From everyone here over at A Piece of New York, we just want to say thank you for the views. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the content, give us a subscribe. We hope you have a great day and a better week. Los Angeles, I love you. I miss you. Take it easy, y'all. Bye-bye.